Hello everyone, uh, I hope you're all doing great and uh, today I've got a special video for you guys we're gonna make an unboxing of uh, the digital camera microscope uh, magnifier that I got from Banggood and as I, as, as I was looking I, and I was playing with electronics and stuff I started uh, trying to fix, to fix uh, trying to fix phones and the inspection was really difficult because uh, the the parts that you have on a phone are really small and it's not uh, really easy to to make a quick inspection so i bought this uh, this uh, micros microscope uh, digital camera microscope thing and we're gonna review it uh, today and make a uh, also we're gonna try to solder with this and we're gonna see if it works okay so if I switch into my window capture here that's the product it's a 5 megapixel 8 LED USB digital camera microscope magnifier it's a 1 to 500 X and it uses a 5 volt uh, USB to transfer the image and also uh, use uh, emit you know work the price is uh, 15 bucks and as we go down to the specifications, we here see that uh, the resolution is uh, 2598 uh, by uh, 1944 uh, and it's a uh, USB 2.0 and it's uh, the S02 model and we've got uh, magnifications up to the magnification is up to 500x we also have the power supply from the USB, 5 uh, volt USB and we have uh, 8 bright white LEDs uh, under under the, the camera that uh, lights a middle light and uh, trying they're trying to light uh, the spots that you want to work on and uh, as it says here it says here on the note it says the general resolution is 640 by 480 but the driver is installed when the driver is installed you can uh, have a resolution up to 1600 by uh, uh, by uh, 1200 and I also guys want to mention that uh, I'm going to have affiliate link in the description so you can check it out and uh, buy the uh, the product using the affiliate link uh, so you help me out so if we switch back to the overhead camera that's uh, the box and we're gonna try to open it as you see here it's not this is a simple box I'm gonna try to open it and we've got the camera here that's the camera it's uh, it's plastic uh, it has the zoom level uh, that's probably for the focus it's not the zoom it's the focus and you try to uh, zoom in and zoom out by you know you know increasing or decreasing the uh, the space that you have between the camera and uh, the board that you the boards or anything else that you want to magnify that's the USB the USB cable that you plug into the computer and you also have here a roller that uh, you can control the uh, level of uh, the brightness on uh, the LEDs that uh, they are right here okay we also have a cover you remove the cover uh, we're gonna put this on the side to see uh, what else do we have into the box uh, we have this uh, bracket here that holds the camera the camera in the place uh, so uh, you can use the knob here to to go closer or to go higher and you can actually control the zoom level with this thing so we we'll put that on the side we also have the the grip the holder here they're all plastic by the way and you probably put it there's a gap here and you put it right here yeah it holds right into it and you can also rotate it to to have the perfect a perfect fit right here so we we'll put that on the side and we we'll see what, if there's anything under the box ah we also have the base uh, with the hole here that holds the the bracket we have a screw we have a screw and we also have a quick user manual uh, it has the downloads link the download links for the 
for the drivers. Uh, by the way, this is the S02 model and you have to, to uh, download the second drivers. And we also have uh, that uh, calibration, uh, calibration thing. Uh, we don't actually need this for now because uh, I'm just gonna review it for a sol from a soldering uh, point of view. I'm just gonna test the zoom level and uh, the workspace that you have when you want to solder, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna do any crazy, uh, you know, uh, distance calculations uh, from small for small objects and stuff. So I'm gonna take the screw out here and try to uh, build a build build a thing. So. It's as I as I see here. It's pretty easy. We're gonna grab a screw a screwdriver, and we're gonna screw the base into into the the bracket. So that's the base. It's uh, not it's not that heavy. It's uh, really uh, really light. So probably when you trying to uh, when you're trying to set the distance between the camera and what you're working on, uh, it's gonna move a little bit. But uh, what do you expect? It's if it, if it makes the work, then uh, it's good, you know. And we have the base here. This is the base, and we put it on this gap here. Okay, that's the cable. So it's not very steady. It's not very steady and we're gonna try to quickly connect it into the computer and uh, check the LEDs and then I'm gonna make a, a quick um, I'm gonna make a quick uh, screen uh, capture so we see what's going on with the drivers and the stuff okay I connected the, the camera into into my USB into the laptop and as you see here, we've got the LEDs, the LEDs, and you can use this knob to uh, uh, to set the brightness of the LEDs. And as you see, that's the max brightness, and as you lower down, it goes uh, lower. So I'm going to switch into the display capture and uh, show you how to install the drivers. Uh, so guys, it's second day and I was trying the whole night to figure out why uh, it didn't show all the resolutions that this uh, this camera can handle and I discovered that when you plug it into a USB 2.0, it, do it, it does that and you have to connect it on uh, USB 3.0 so you have all the resolutions. I don't know the, uh, the reason that uh, this is happening because the USB cable is actually uh, USB 2.0 2.0 I don't know the reason so I'm gonna show you really quick how to install the drivers um, we're gonna select the second uh, uh, the second link that uh, we have uh, in the m little manual inside the box uh, this is the link you press it you press enter and it downloads the, the RAR file so you click on the RAR file and you extract you press extract here and it's gonna make a folder and then you have to go into driver uh, stupid thing that and you have to install this in order to add all the resolutions that uh, this device can handle I also want to mention that uh, uh, if you <clears throat> that uh, if you use this uh, you can still use this camera without any drivers but you will not have all the resolution selections so we get into the setup, we press next, next, install, it's going to install the driver, yes, we say we, we want a shortcut, and we finish it. Uh, you press uh, yes, I want to restart my computer now, I'm not going to restart because I've got OBS opened, we're going to press finish. Once you restart, uh, you click on this program that came out on the on the desktop and you have you have the the camera right in working right away as you see here uh, you can also use the knob from the base to zoom in and zoom out and then use the knob from the camera to focus on uh, the working uh, area that you were on, the, on your working area so also uh, if you press uh, this icon here 
that says video capture pin it shows some settings here and you can select the, the resolution that you wanna uh, have uh, the display for example I want uh, 1080p I press OK and it changes the resolution and as you see you have a bigger screen and a wider screen and you can work better on uh, on the components I really uh, and the thing that I have noticed though it's uh, that uh, when you uh, when you up you put the resolution uh, above a certain point uh, the delay is higher and it's uh, more difficult uh, to work on uh, on a, on something because the delay is really far uh, it's really big so uh, I'm gonna switch uh, the camera and uh, show you some uh, uh, we can try to do some soldering using this uh, device okay so guys, I, I, I got my tools out and I'm gonna try to do some soldering with this microscope. I also put it a camera right here to uh, implement the working space that you have uh, in order to, to work uh, with this device. And I also have the resolution on a, a 800 by 600, so we don't have a lot of delay. And we're gonna try to uh, solder and desolder some components real quick. I'm gonna open my station. I'm gonna turn on my station and uh, warm up my soldering iron. Also, guys, uh, if you uh, if you wanna know what tools I use for this uh, kind of uh, uh, setup, uh, I'm gonna have affiliate links in the description below so you can check out the the tools that I use. So, guys, my uh, my soldering iron is uh, warmed up and I'm gonna try to desolder and uh, solder some capacitors here. So I'm gonna add some flux, some flux to clean the area. Uh, as I notice here, the delay is quite big. It's not that big, but it's uh, noticeable. Uh, but uh, the amount of zoom and help that you're getting with this, it's uh, really cool it's really cool as you see from the camera I'm gonna to try to desolder this comes right away and I'm gonna move uh, the base is not very is not very stable by the way okay I desolder this I'm gonna to try to hold it with my tweezers with my tweezers here okay it's right here uh, I've got it on the side and I'm going to clean, I'm going to prep the pads here to uh, to solder to solder the capacitor that I removed. I'm going to clean the, the soldering iron, I'm going to get the desoldering wick and I'm going to, let's see. One sec. Uh, it's move as I as I notice here, the the base is not very stable, but uh, you can use something heavy to uh, stabilize the thing. Clean it. This this is the. This is the pads for the capacitor that uh, we are going to solder here. And I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna add some uh, flux and some uh, solder right here. And I'm gonna grab my tweezers and try to solder the capacitor. One sec, I moved the camera. Sorry for the bad angles, guys. I'm just trying with multiple cameras to show you how it is to work with this. The working space, it's uh, it's good. It's good. You you actually have uh, good working space. I'm gonna try to find the pads that I prepared here, and I'm gonna solder it back here on the back. As you see. Let's wait a little bit so the solder cools off and still 
One sec, guys. Oh my god, my soldering... My soldering skills are so bad. With small... I'm just trying to get used to the camera because I use the camera instead of my eyes to watch... Uh, to watch uh, what I'm soldering. This is the capacitor here and I'm gonna try to... Try to hold it and solder it. Okay, let's see. The capacitor is stable. The camera is really good. It's uh, it's not very good quality, but the amount of zoom that you're getting is uh, it's pretty decent. You see here, the capacitor is soldered, and if we clean the area. You can actually see the soldered solder capacitor right here. Very very nice tool. Uh, for beginners, it's uh, it's really good uh, to have this device because uh, you have some kind of a zoom that can help you out uh, solder uh, smaller compo components and stuff. Really, really, I'm really impressed. So. Uh, that's uh, the whole point of the video. I just wanted to uh, show you how you can use this. Uh, the, basically, I wanted to show you that uh, you can use this device to solder. You see that the amount of uh, space that you're getting is pretty decent. You, you can put your soldering iron right into the pads and uh, solder. So it's uh, really good for beginners. So guys, that's for now. Uh, I hope you liked the video. I'm really sorry for the messed up angles that I have on uh, on the video with the cameras, but I, I tried so hard. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next uh, video. Bye bye.